Hey everyone, it's Kristen from Six Sisters. Today, I'm going to be making five ingredient beef recipes. Now, if you're wondering, I am still here. I still have eight days until this little girl comes and I have been trying to keep busy. So every morning I take my dog for a walk but the cat usually walks with us. And then my kids and filming YouTube videos usually keeps me on my feet all day. Okay, show us how your baby's kicking. Oh my word. I'm having twins. Twins? So hopefully, hopefully she will come sooner than later. So like I said, today I thought it would be fun to make some beef recipes for you. Most of these are just five ingredients, so hopefully they're helpful in your week. All right guys, let's just jump into the recipes. All right, the first recipe that I am making is our Instant Pot Cheesy Beef Taco Pasta. I put the printable recipe down below in the description. They have a few more ingredients which you're welcome to add, but I just wanted to show you that you can change recipes to make them just five ingredients. All right, five main ingredients are lean ground beef. We got about 16 ounces of your favorite salsa. We got some yummy cheese. This is actually supposed to be Mexican cheese, but my kids ate it all, so <laughs> we're using Colby Jack. Then we have some rotoni noodles, pasta, and then some taco seasoning. All right, we're gonna start this recipe by pushing the saute button in the Instant Pot. Then we're just gonna wait for it to heat up. All right, once it's all heated up, go ahead and add your ground beef. Now, if you've been watching me for a while, you know that I love the chop and stir. You can find it on Amazon for like $6. If I remember, I'll put a link down below for you. But it just breaks everything up while it cooks. Okay, once your meat is cooked all the way through, I still have another minute or so, we're gonna start adding things to it. Now, if you're gonna drain your grease, now would be the time to do it. Okay, now we're on saute. We're gonna actually push cancel, just so we remember to do it. Now we're gonna add about 16 ounces of your favorite salsa. I love Hernez. This is not sponsored, I just love Hernez. Next, you're gonna add your taco seasoning. Just pour it right on top. Then you're gonna add 16 ounces or about one pound of rotoni. Rotoni pasta, not rotoni. Oh man, it's still in everywhere. Okay, dump that in. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now you have two options here for this recipe. You can add four cups of water or you can add four cups of chicken broth. Now, realize if you do chicken broth, you're adding another ingredient. I'm gonna add chicken broth because I like it a little bit better. Please don't eat me alive. <laughs> now whenever you're cooking pasta in an Instant Pot, you wanna make sure that all the pasta is covered with the liquid or you're gonna have some crunchy pasta. So we are just going to push this down the best that we can so there is no pasta that is not being covered. <laughs> and sorry, there's lots of kids at my house right now. So if you hear background noises, that's it. Okay, everything is pretty much cooked through. So we just have to cook the noodles. So we're gonna go ahead and put the lid on. If you have a little knob, make sure it's turned to sealing, not venting. Then we're gonna go over here and go to pressure cook. Ooh, I had a roast in there earlier. So we have to go all the way down, all the way down to four minutes. It said five minutes, but you know what? My pasta could cook in four, so we're doing four minutes. Once you set your timer, you can just walk away. All right, it's all done. Let's take this off. All right, and we're just gonna mix this all around. Then add my favorite part, the cheese. So we're gonna add two cups of shredded cheese. Oh yes, there is a reason that cheesy is in the title of this recipe. All right, oh, you see that cheese stretch? Yeah. All right, taste tester. This is our taco one, huh? <laughs> All right, what do you think? One, two, three, four, or five? I'm gonna give it a four. A four? You would, you would keep eating this, it was pretty good? Yeah. The next recipe I'm making is cheesy ground beef and cheese casserole. And one of my favorite parts, it's made in the Instant Pot. The five ingredients for this recipe is some long grain rice, about a pound of ground beef. We have an onion here some cheddar cheese, and some cream of mushroom soup. This one we're also gonna start by pushing the saute button and letting it heat up. All right, this is all hot, ready to go. I'm just gonna dump in, or at least squeeze in, <laughs> my meat. Okay, once it's pretty much cooked through, we're gonna add about a teaspoon of garlic salt, and yes, I am eyeballing this. <laughs> a 
as I film. And I'm also gonna add my chopped up onion. Now, I started cutting into the onion and it was rotted. So I had a container, it had like onions, carrots, and celery. We're just gonna make it work today. Okay, then we're just gonna stir this around for a second. Not very long, we'll start adding everything else in because we need to pressurize this too. Then I'm just gonna add one cup of rice just right on top of the meat. Now we need some liquid so it will pressurize. And so we're gonna add two cups of water. Now the secret with this is that you want to make sure that all the rice is covered with water because no one wants hard rice. Now you can add salt and pepper to taste here too, whatever suits you. And then the last thing we're gonna add is our can of cream of mushroom soup. Now the secret to this is, we are not going to mix it in. We are literally going to just put it on top because if you mix it in, you're gonna get the burn notice and no one wants that today. So we're gonna put in our soup and just leave it there. All right, our rice cooks for seven minutes. That's the only thing we need cooked. So we're gonna put the lid on. If you have a little knob here, make sure that's on sealing, not venting. And we're gonna go to pressure cook. Cook for seven minutes. Once you set the timer with this one, I can just walk away. All right, when it is all done, we're gonna go ahead and release the pressure with this little dude. Okay, pressure is out. Let's open this little guy. Okay. No burn notice, that is our favorite kind. The rice sucked up all of the liquid, so we don't need to drain anything. We just get to mix this around, which is my favorite kind. Oop, kids in the background, that's okay. Okay, so for this recipe, you have a few options. You can put it in a skillet, melt the cheese down, or you can just mix the cheese in your Instant Pot. That's what I'm gonna do. I just like one less pan to worry about. We're just gonna mix everything together. Okay, so we're just gonna add a cup and a half of cheddar cheese or Colby Jack cheese or whatever. We're just eyeballing this. That's how we roll. <laughs> All right, I'll just mix this in. Now when you serve this, you can also add a little bit of cheese on top if you'd like. Okay, we have Ensley here taste testing our I don't even know what this is called. <laughs> Cheesy beef and rice casserole. Yep. Go for it, girl. You have the dog down here, too, wanting to taste test. <laughs> Sorry, Chewy. I like it. I think it's really good. All right, what do you give it a rating? Um, I'll give it a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10, okay, I like it. Yes. Nice. And the last recipe that I'm making today is Instant Pot Vlogganese. Okay, now this has a few more than five ingredients just because there is a lot of seasoning in here. So I'm not counting the seasoning as a main ingredient because most of you should have it. But for now, I'll just show you what's in this. So we have tomato paste, we have minced garlic. Hopefully you guys have minced garlic. I always have some in my fridge. We have some ground beef here. We have spaghetti noodles or whatever kind of pasta you want to use, that's fine. And then a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. Now just like the other recipes, we're gonna start by pushing the saute button. All right, we're gonna start by putting the beef into the bottom of your pan. Now, my chop and stir is dirty. Ah, so I'm gonna use a wooden spoon and just break it up and cook this meat. All right, once it is all done cooking, this is the time to drain your grease if you don't like the grease. So to this, we are going to start adding our other ingredients. So we have four teaspoons of minced garlic, which seems like a lot, but it gives it so much flavor. It is so good. I'm gonna go ahead and mix this while this is still a little hot. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so now we're gonna add the whole six ounces of tomato paste. That seems like a lot, but don't you worry. <laughs> this is how we get it a little bit thicker. And then our 28 ounces of your crushed tomato. All right, so we are actually not going to stir this very much at all, mostly because we don't want to get the burn notice. No one wants that. So we're actually gonna add our seasoning. There is quite a bit of seasoning in this. I'm gonna put it down below in the description instead of telling you everything, but there are three tablespoons of minced onion. So if you're wondering what all that is, that is minced onion. Mm. Okay, here's the tricky part. We have one cup of water that we are going to pour around the sides. And we're kind of just gonna leave it just like this. We're gonna put the lid on and cook it because if you mix it, it won't pressurize very well. So that's the plan. Okay, I'm gonna put my lid on. Oh, come on. There we go. 
If you have a little knob, make sure that's turned to sealing, not venting. We're gonna push the pressure cook button and it said anywhere from like 10 to 20 minutes. I feel like the meat's already cooked, so I'm just gonna cook it for 10 minutes, set the timer, and you can just walk away. All right, when it's all done, you go ahead and release the pressure so you can open this little guy up. It looks good, now we just gotta mix it all together. All right, so for this recipe, I cooked the pasta. Of course, I cooked it in the Instant Pot for only four minutes. I'll put a link down below if you don't know how to cook your pasta. And then it's just time for the sauce. Now I know that the word bolognese also is usually made with like Italian sausage, but I love eating it with ground beef. That's my favorite way. I love ground beef so much more. All right, Sarah is gonna taste test our bolognese or spaghetti, huh? All right. Oop. Mmm, what do you think? Thumbs up. Okay, if you rate it one through five, what do you think? Five being so good, or one being, this is so gross. <gasps> Gonna rate it a five? You're my spaghetti girl, huh? Usually you just see me on YouTube, but in the next five weeks, you're gonna see all of my sisters and my cute mom. They're gonna take over the YouTube channel for a little bit so I can be on maternity leave. All right, I'll see you for one more week and then it's baby time. All right guys, I'll see you later.